welcome everyone to Boy What Did We Monday Night Raw review for October 10th, 2016. We are less than a couple minutes away, man, from WWE 2K17, and I can't fucking wait. But let's talk about what I think is a problem, a mistake on WWE's part, heading into Survivor Series after tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. Now I'm gonna get this. Uh, I'm gonna get this shit out of the way. 5.5. I'm getting this show up a rating because this show is decent. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was just decent. Rollinson Jericho had a awesome, great match. I barely pay attention to it because I'm, I'm just in the mood for the game. <laughs> to be honest, I was just like, I was just like sitting by, just like, okay, let Rock go through. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, man, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to get this game now. So, who, um. Uh, yeah, let's just get through some shit out of the way. Uh, Bailey fought Jobber. Bailey won. Bailey got attacked from Dan from behind by Dana Brooke. Title Sunil fought R Truth because R Truth stole a sponsorship from Title Sunil, and Title Sunil got mad and he lost to R Truth thanks to Goldust distracting Title Sunil. Seth Rollins defeated Jericho, and after Jericho got planted with a pedigree, and Kevin Owens is walking off like a little bitch. Um, Sami Zayn and Neville against. Bo Dallas and his tag team partner, I think it was Curtis Axel, and uh, held the cell match that I knew that was going to happen, which I'm not really excited for because it's the same fucking feud. The same people held the cell match. Wow. I got what I wanted, but at the same time, I'm already not excited because it's Sasha and fucking Charlotte. That's why. Um, what else? What else was there? Jericho and Stephanie had a segment talking about scarves, and then Jericho and Ste Stephanie was, you know, telling Jericho about, you know, if, if it was a if it was a triple threat, how in the cell match, then Jericho knows what to do if it was if it became him and Owens, if it, if it came down to Kevin Owens and himself. Um, that's all I know. I mean, I went out to get food. Uh, during the show, because I'm like, you know what, this show, it's just this show is a little bit, ugh. and Reigns and Sasha Banks against Charlotte and Rusev had a great match. It was a great mixed tag team match. I loved the mixed tag team match. It's just that we're basically seeing Hell in the Cell, the Hell in the Cell matches in a tag team format. Basically, we're seeing Sasha versus Charlotte and Reigns versus Rusev because they can't touch each other. Uh, intergen, uh, inter sexual intergender you know what I mean like like Roman can't touch Charlotte and, Sh and Sasha can't touch Rusev it's simple as that or like Sasha can touch Rusev but Rusev can't fight back like you know stuff like that like shit like that so basically yeah it was basically a hell in the cell preview not in a structure just in a tag team format that's the thing I had a problem with um but besides that, it was the first mixed tag team match I've seen since the Jericho and Charlotte against Sasha Banks and Enzo Amore back in um, the Raw after uh, the first new era of the WWE after the draft. Um, so yeah, just have to get that out of the way. Anyways, um, Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's uh, advocate Paul Heyman came through, you know, was talking about WrestleMania and, and you know... The, uh, the video game and how Brock Lesnar and Goldberg went at it back and forth in the game. That's what they're actually, you know, basically saying, look, they're going to go at it again and again in real life. Shit like that. So, Brock, uh, basically, Paul Heyman just laid out the challenge. Look, man, you beat uh, Brock Lesnar, my client, at WrestleMania. Let's see if you can go at it again. I, Paul Heyman, as the advocate of... Brock Lesnar challenge you to a fight. Don't know when. Anywhere. Any place. And then Goldberg, what does he tweet out? He tweets out saying, I'm gonna fly in to Denver next week to shut up the big mouth of Paul Heyman. So, when I first saw that, my first reaction was, Holy shit! Like, in my head, I'm like, oh my god, Goldberg on Raw for the first time since 12 years ago 
on Monday Night Raw. Actually, when Raw was good. Now Raw is just... Ugh. So, yeah. Goldberg returns to WWE Raw for the first time since 2004. But the thing is... Um... Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar today does not sound like a good idea. Why? I'll tell you why. And I don't know why I'm talking so slow. I'll tell you why. Because Brock Lesnar, for the past two and a half years, Lesnar has been unstoppable. He has been booked like a mega freaking star. He's been booked to at a, at a level not even John Cena can reach it. John Cena is a mega star. No, get me wrong, but Brock Lesnar is a fucking mega star. Brock John Cena is just a John Cena is just a mega star. Brock Lesnar is a fucking mega star, superstardom. That's where Brock Lesnar's at. Okay, so Brock Lesnar. Let's see. What? Well, well, how did Brock Lesnar's streak, you know, started? It started after beating Triple H at, at Extreme Rules in a steel cage match um, in 2013. Months later, defeated CM Punk at SummerSlam. And then after months months later, challenged The Undertaker for his undefeated streak at WrestleMania 30, which he conquered and defeated the, the one behind the 23 or 24-1, one, I, I think, whatever. And, um, yeah, and then... Brock Lesnar, you know, challenged Cena for the title at SummerSlam. That's when Superbook City was, was like a fetus at that point. And after, you know, Brock Lesnar held the title all the way to WrestleMania. And after Rollins cashed in, pinned Roman Reigns to win the title. Brock Lesnar couldn't claim the title. Uh, and then the and at, at Battleground, they had a match between Lesnar and Rollins. And the Undertaker showed up and cost him the title. Uh, Brock and Taker went at it. Taker got that cheap victory because he uh, tapped out. Bellkeeper saw it, but referee did not call it. And after a low blow, Hell's Gate, middle finger, pass out. That's what happened at SummerSlam last year. And after what's left for their Hell in the Cell match, which Brock Lesnar and Undertaker tore the house down. And then after Lesnar was able to walk out the victor. And then Lesnar had that shitty match. Um... No, for, sorry, before that. Lesnar competed in a in the Royal Rumble, got eliminated because of the Wyatts, defeated Luke Harper at Roadblock, and also uh, competed in that triple threat with Roman Reigns won, which I regret still, and then had that shitty match against Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania. And then after that, he had a fight against Ren Yorton at SummerSlam, which he busted him open like a government mute or stuffed pig or something. I don't know. Some, some Jim Ross reference. That's Brock Lesnar's streak right there. Do you expect, after all of those years, that Goldberg walks in and beats him again? If Goldberg does walk in and he does beat him somehow, that basically proves that Brock Lesnar can defeat anyone in WWE, but... When it comes to Goldberg, Brock Lesnar is nothing more than a fucking bitch. Simple as that. If Brock Lesnar fights Goldberg, he gets his ass beat. If he fights Cena, Taker, Big Show, Kane, anyone else, he can conquer and walk out the victor. So, what I'm trying to say, and Goldberg coming back, at this point, Goldberg comes back. Do you expect Goldberg to walk in and beat Lesnar? I don't. Do you expect Goldberg to walk in and lose? I do. Goldberg is going to Suplex City like Ambrose, Cena, Taker. All right? And Seth Rollins also. He's going there. He's going to he's gonna go to that crappy hotel with cockroaches. All right? And with a shitty maid and the shitty customer service. That's where Goldberg's going to be. Because seriously, I do not see Goldberg walking in and beat Lester. I don't see Goldberg walking in and and just... I I just don't. I just don't see Goldberg walking in at Survivor Series or whenever the fucking match is going to take place. And after expects to win. I don't. I don't. Seriously. 
this, and the story is whack because it's they're building off they're building it off the fucking game, which I can't wait to come out. Seriously, I can't wait. Only only minutes minutes away. It's probably out by the time I upload this video. But anyways, um, yeah, fucking uh, Goldberg comes through. He has his match with Lesnar. Everyone expects Lesnar to win. A lot of people will be, oh, Goldberg, I'm picking Goldberg. You know, he's the returning star. He's going to walk in and beat Lesnar. If he does, it will debunk everything Lesnar's done. And honestly, I would rather have someone that deserves it more, in my opinion, than Goldberg. I'm not saying Goldberg deserves nothing. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying someone that's going to be in the company for fucking years to come. And I'm not talking about Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, no, not him. Someone that we all actually can get behind or hate at the same time. And, you know, just take Lester's throne and be like, look, I'm the king of the mountain, bitch. Brock Lesnar ain't shit no more. He, he used to be. He ain't shit no more. That's what I'm trying to get at. Is that if Goldberg walks in, he's going to fucking lose automatically off the bat. It's already a lose-lose situation. The only thing they both gain is money and Goldberg's son get to see his dad compete in the ring for the first time of his life. Simple as that. That's the only good thing for these two personally. But for us, as for me actually, for me as a viewer, all I'm going to see is suplex, 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 counter, spear, Jackhammer, jackhammer attempt, uh, F5 attempt, and then after a spear again, and maybe a jackhammer, kick out, and then an F5, done. That's what I see. And I don't want to see that. That That's just me. That's just me. Leave your comments down below. You're probably thinking this guy's a fucking retard. This guy don't know what he's talking about. He's an idiot. Uh, I'm going to leave a long-ass comment for no fucking reason. Look, leave your comment on what you guys think. All right, I'm just, I, you, you guys heard what I have to say. I can't wait for the video, video game to come out. So, I'm out, guys. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. And I'm out later.